Okay, so right now I'm inside my house. I figured I'd do one final, one more update for the day uh, to show you how we're preparing for the storm. Uh, the power is going to go out. It's a given. You know, it's only a matter of time. The question is how long it's going to take for them to get the power back up. So what we did was we bought quite a few things here. We have some water here, you know. You know, two bottles, two, uh, two packages of water here, you know, purified water. We have some bread, some soda, you know, because... Turn the light on. Here we go. We can see the water bottles we have here. Some soda, some bananas, you know, nothing too crazy. We have batteries right over here. Bought some batteries from Micro Center before I came home. Smashers. Here's the thing. Matches, are, we do have a gas stove. So what this means is we can actually use the matches to light up the stove if the power goes out. Uh, we have a fridge here. The fridge doesn't really have much things in there. You know, we can't really put much stuff in here. Because if the power goes out, there goes all our food, right? So the power is going to go out, guaranteed. The power always goes out in this area, even on days when it's not even raining. You know, even this moderate winds, the power, the power just goes out. So you know, that's the only thing we can do. We can only. It's only a matter of how long it's going to take them to put this power back on. We're going to go downstairs to see how the basement is prepared. The basement is at this point under construction, so uh, okay. So you know the basements. We always have to make sure that the drains are clear. So I'm checking that right now. Open the door real quick. Okay. This is the drain right here. You know, the rain isn't forecasted to be that high. You know, they're only predicting two to four inches of rain. So flooding due to rain isn't expected to be a major problem in this area. So honestly, the biggest thing I'm concerned about is just the power. You know, the power and the trees that are going to be falling down. We're not going to be getting a lot of rain with this system. They're only predicting two to four inches. Two to four. Oh, let me turn the five black button. They're only predicting two to four inches of rain, so it shouldn't be a major issue. The only problem is those who live south of Sunrise Highway, Route 27. They're the ones that are going to be having flood issues, so they're the ones that have to prepare and get their basements, whatever they have secured, and move it to higher ground because it is going to be flooding in those areas. But we're located north of Sunrise, well north by the uh, by the Southern State Parkway. And uh, these areas don't typically flood unless we have 20 feet storm surges. Maybe if we had a Category 4 hurricane coming here, that would probably be a little bit more concerned. But this is only a Category 1 hurricane that is not even impacting us directly. So I don't think we're going to be having that much of a major issue with flooding winds. It's just the wind that is going to knock the power out. And we're going to be inconvenienced by the power loss that's going to be happening. So that's basically it. So... And that's it. We have batteries here, like I showed you earlier, and some water bottles, and we're just gonna ride out the storm. And that's it for my update on how we're prepared for the storm.